So hello everyone. So um, today we this is week three, and today we will get another act new activities about warm up. Now let me share my screen about week three activities. Yeah. Let me share the screen. Yeah. Yeah, this is quick three activities. So the activities is warm up for talent show 20 minutes. We'll do it 20 minutes. We will learn our lesson eye contact for 25 minutes. We will practice in 10 minutes, play games for five minutes, and review and homework in three minutes. Is it okay with you all? Everyone, is it okay with you? Okay, so it will be okay. Okay, because I want you to speak more. So when I say okay, just raise your hand or even say yes, turn on your mic, okay? Okay. So now let's start with our warm up for talent show. So for my hobbies, I like to sing. So now I will sing you a song. Okay, so wait for me. Okay, so I'm back. Now I will sing the song Price Tag. Okay, so Coconut Man, Moonhead, and P. You ready? Yes. He's like, everybody's got a price. I wonder how they sleep at night. When the sale comes first and the truth comes second, just stop for a minute. Bye. Why is everybody so serious? Acting so damn mysterious. But your shades in your eyes and your heels so high that you can't even have a good time. Everybody looks to the left. Everybody looks to the right. And you feel that you have to pay. But tonight, it's not about the money, money, money. You don't need your money, money, money. You're going to make the walk dance. Forget about the price. Okay, think about the, yeah, think about the, uh, the things to make the world dance, forget about the price tag. We need to take it back in time, when music matters all you guys, and it wasn't low clothes and video holes, am I the only one getting power? Why is everybody so upset? Money can't buy us happiness. So we all slow down and enjoy right now. Guarantee we reach the all right. Everybody look to the left. Everybody look to the right. Can you feel that? Yeah. Okay, the glow tonight. It's not about the money, money, money. We don't need your money, money, money. To make the world dance. Forget about the price. Okay. Think about the, yeah. Think about the lovely uh, something when I make the war dance. Forget about the price tag. Take the price tag and take the cash back. Just give me six rings and a half pack. And you can and you can charge the key in the garage. You guys don't guess why you are keeping the car. And guess what? In 30 seconds, I'm to be smart. Leave the key across the beautiful office. This many packs of the price of the lot. We find it every time. Every night we get to go to school and home never. When it keeps trying to be, uh uh, we can keep everyone to be. So bring back the beat and then everyone's be not about the money, money, money. Don't be your money, money, money. I'm going to go home and find the king. Okay. 
Yeah, yeah. Ooh. Forget about the prize. Okay. Okay, so I'm done. Hey, stop taking pictures. Okay, so when I said big. Wait. Okay, I'm back. So now Becca. Okay, so it's so lucky, right? I cannot. Okay, so Becca, it's time for you to start your game in your PowerPoint slide. Okay, you can share your screen. Click share screen and then choose a window you like. And click open. Oh, okay. Wow. Pretty. Okay. Okay, so continue. What I need to close. It's okay, Becca. So you just need to move it. Just need to move it. Wait for me a moment. Okay. Okay, so when we're waiting, Oliver, are you there? Yeah. So I want you to also join the um, the game, okay? Okay, so I want you to speak louder first because you're so lucky, a little bit, lagging a little bit. So now we'll play a warm up game and now it is Save the Ocean. Okay. Here's how to play. I'll show you totally 10 fun questions. You have 3 seconds to think and after 3 seconds, whoever the hand first can answer the question. And if the person got the answer right, two bags of trash will get out of the ocean. If that person is wrong, then another person can answer the question. At the end of the game, who got the most bags, trust who win. Okay. okay. So, Oliver, do you have any question? No. Okay. So, Becca, can you move? Can you move the yes. black one? Yeah, that one. That one. The one is blocking your screen. Yeah. And then you move up a little bit. Move it up a little bit okay so let me like this for example can you see my screen so i when it's during it go over here it's like this right so you will click yes. here make it smaller and move it here then you can share and share it again okay okay Okay, now good luck. Try it again, please. Question Oliver, can you talk? Okay, I'm. Yeah. Question one. 
When I hey, eat. Hey, Becca, Becca, share your screen. You forgot to share your screen. Don't worry. Just do it slowly. Okay. There's that good. Okay, so that's better. So now just go. Becca, turn on your mic. And Oliver, can you mute your mic? And when you know it, ah, Becca. <laughs> yeah. Okay, turn on your mic. Okay. Three. And so, question one is: When I eat, I live. But when I drink, I die. Who am I? So you have three seconds to think the answer. And at least three seconds, who raised their hand first can answer the question. Okay. Becca, choose the person. Yes, yeah, so sorry, who is the handlers? Oliver, and then I raised my hand, and Oliver put it down, and Oliver raised it again. Oliver can answer the question. Okay, I'm saying um, this is uh, this is a uh, book. Book? Right. No, that's incorrect. Sue. The fire? Yes. Because I can it. Okay. Question two. I'm not alive, but I have five fingers. What am I? A glove. Sorry. We can skip this question, don't worry. We can skip. You don't need to click, you just need to click on the um, up and down button on your keyboard. Yes, Make so. it smaller, please. I cannot see anything. Wait, wait for me a moment. Let's move to question three because I think you all know the answer to this. Okay. Okay. Question three. No, no, no. Lower our hand. Lower your hand. Oliver, can you lower your hand? Okay. You can show me. Which can you keep after giving it to your friends? Who raised the hand first? Do you know the answer? I think Oliver. Oliver, so you can answer the question. Yes, it's the thank you. I think no. No. So I think can I answer it, please? 
Eka? Can you say it again? Can I answer it? Yes, what do you answer? I think it's name. No. Gosh, I don't know. Don't you, your, your name is your friend, right? You don't know your question, right? Okay. Um, and the question know. is your promise. What? Okay. What are the two things that people never eat before breakfast? This question is kind of easy. I'm not sure. I'm not eating. Yes, have anyone raised their hand? I don't know. Sue, do you know the answer? Wait, let me lower it. I think it's soft string and... No. Uh, the answer to this question is not the name of food or the kind of food. Where? Where is the answer? Yes. Do you any know the answer? If not, no. then I'll show you the answer. Do you know the answer? I don't know. No, okay, I don't so know. Cool. I'll show you the answer. Lunch and dinner. What? It's Wait. Gosh. Lunch and dinner on breakfast, right? No. Now, Oliver, I... lower your hand down. Okay, if you already answered, mm, raise your hand for the last oh. question, then lower your hand in the next second, right? Question five. A girl was 10 on her last birthday. And what would you have on her next birthday? How is possible? If anyone raise your hand, yes. Two, you know the answer? So I think it is because on her last birthday, she was 10, but uh, in the next year, she was 11, and on her birthday, she was 11. And then she uh, was 12, but she was not um, really rounded on 12 yet. What do you think? No, that's not the answer. Have Oliver get the answer? Oliver. Girl was born in nearly of 10 holiday, and I think she's 11 and she's 12. No, no, that is the answer. If none of you know the answer, then can I show the answer? I don't know. This is too impossible. Did you get the answer? Today is his birthday. Wait, right? what? The last the birthday. Last birthday. The next birthday she's 11. The next birthday she's 12. So impossible. Yes. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay. Question six. How do you know the ocean is friendly? This is easy. Yes? Do any of you know the answer? Has anyone raised your hand yet? Yes, already. Who? Everyone. Okay, who raised your hand first? Because I can't see it. Who raised your hand first? Sue or Oliver? Sue? Okay, Sue, can you answer the question? I just think, okay, because we know the ocean is friendly because in there, there are um, dolphins, and it is also friendly. The answer to this is... Hey, let Oliver answer. Okay, can Oliver answer? I think the ocean is friendly because there are many animals 
live in many creatures, sea creatures live in the ocean, and I think that is friendly, right? No, I can give you a suggestion, and the answer is a rock of, is a word that you need to learn when you study about the ocean. That is a very important word. The can you get it? Peaceful? No. Environment? No. Babe? Wait, yes. You're right. Gosh. He waits. Okay. <gasps> wait? No, no, no. I say save. Okay. Not wait. No. Only Sue oh. has. Two bags of trash, right? Oliver haven't got any, right? So I think this will be for Oliver. Sure. What has arm but cannot hug? Question seven. What's the answer? Can Oliver answer the end question? Yes. Yes, he can ask. Okay, so what's the answer? I think it's in the armchair. Yes, that's right. You got two travel tracks. Yeah, I'm here. Okay. Question eight. Which can move faster, heat or cold? I think heat. Yes, why? Because um, I saw some just of uh, some motorbike or gas or some awesome thing will move slow. No, this question isn't about uh, the like study uh, in class because this is this is a question that we need to be smart to um, answer it right because if this uh, the answer to this question is something that we learn in our class then Sue won't be able to answer it because she's younger than us. Yeah, so Sue, can you answer the question? So I think it is um, heat moves faster than cold because yes. when we heating, there are more air. When when we heat, when we heat something, there are air moving up. And even when we are uh, heating cold, it also moves up. When I think of the cold, it didn't move really fast because it was freezing. Okay, that's incorrect. So not do any of you know the answer? I'll give you a second chance. I think it's heat faster. Heat? Yes. Heat is correct. It moves faster, but why is it? Why does it move faster? Does any of you know it? I don't think so. If not then I'll show the answer. Heat because you can catch cold. Catch a cold. Sorry, I this the about um it's not like cold, right? You have a flu. Yes. Yeah, so my gosh, you cannot catch a heat, but you can catch a cold. Yes, that's right. Who works only one day in a year, but now but never gets fired? I know the answer. Yes. Um, Santa Claus. Yes, that's right. Then Oliver, you had four bags of trash. Now the final answer. Uh, final question. Sorry. What is easy to get into but hard to get out? Um, any of you know the answer? If any of you do, just yes, say it. Yes, I think so. Not really. What can you say that again? I'm so kidding. I think um the thing is easy to get into is the time that we hard to get out of the time. So it's like we're always running out of time. No, 
I do things in fly because I never heard that you get into time and get out of time. Hey, so, give us a hint. No. Please. <laughs> no. Come on. Yes, so a suggestion for the answer is that this is something that you get into in class. Like when you do something that, you know? In class? No, as uh, yes. It, that it is something that we usually get in class. Oh, I know that. We... Okay, can you answer? Attention. I think it is detention. No. I don't think so. Maybe no, I don't know. Okay. It it is something that we get to class or even home. You know when you like you break a ball. So what will you get into? The lock. No? Lock the door and no. When you break a ball at home, a ball, a ball to eat, so, and well, what? Um, we will get into trouble, and we hard to get out of trouble. Yeah, that's right. Trouble. Okay, so congratulations because Sue and Oliver have got each of you have got four bags of trash. So no one wins. Okay. Yeah. No one wins. So thank you for joining the game. Okay. So all of us. Okay. Now all of us. To perform your talent. What will you do? All of us. Yes. What will you do? Quick, we're getting really much time in this. What will you do in the talent show? I don't know. That's about, I have many hobbies. You don't know? You haven't prepared yet. Oh, hi, Gabriella. You get late into the talent show. I mean, you're not late at all. Hello, Gabriella. Okay, wait. Oliver. What? Have you prepared for the talent show yet? It's already done, but I don't think it's... Don't worry, just show it, just show it. When we weren't last, okay, we so would like to see you perform it, okay? Wait a minute. Okay, only a second, not a minute. Hi, Gabriella. Why are you lately? Um, because today I had to learn at school. My teacher said that we can't do class until the class is closed. And I have to go to the class and I can't go. Um, okay, I okay. I understand. I understand. You don't have to explain more. Oliver, you get back, right? Wait me a minute. Oh, wait. wait. There are no more minutes to waste. Okay. No, I don't know how to share the... Just um, say it. I mean, just do it and I will explain the word. Okay. I don't know how to share the screen. What do you mean? I don't know how to share. Oh, okay. So let me teach you how to share the screen. See my screen? So you will click here. There is a uh, there is a word here. When I click there, um, when there is a thing that you got an up, an up button, and there was a rectangle, and you see the word share screen. No, I can't. I can't. Uh, like this, Oliver. Look here. Yes. You click in it. No, I can't. 
no, it might be the on any. So you need to click in a button. Uh, not a button. I mean three dots. Okay. Click in the three dots of your phone. What are you guys doing? What are you guys doing? What are we doing? Oh yeah. We are doing the talent show. You just get in time. Yep, get in time. Okay, are you back? Yes, but I don't do it. No, on your screen. Not on my screen. Three dots. Don't worry, only three dots. Just three dots. You're wasting time, Oliver. If you don't know how to share, you just need to ask the question out. Um, okay. Okay. Quick. Can I chatting in the mailbox? Yeah, you can chat in the chat box and I will read it out loud. I can chat. I can't chat it. So you just need to talk. Just need to talk. Okay. I have some information about Christmas. Okay. Oh, something about Christmas, right? You're making a game or anything. Making a game? I have some information about Christmas. And I will share for you. Oh, guys. so what does that talent mean? Because what we're talking here is about what is your talent? Right? You can read it loud, loud. Okay. You cannot share screen. Um, my, my talent is, my talent, my talent is dragon, and, what do you mean, what do you mean? Okay, wait, 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 can you chat in the chat box? I can chat in my chat box. What are you using? A phone or a computer? My phone and... Your phone? Okay, I know that your phone all have, also have a chat box. Yes, but I can click on it. It says, it says the call was Uh, okay. Come on, type them all down the chat box for me. Okay. You know, you are bringing us a really good thing. Okay. Let's do it. See, you have, you know, that is a chat box. Yes, now I'm in the chat box now. Okay, so now just type down the questions and things about your talent. You're wasting time of us. So quick. Quick. What is parent? 
So is Rosalind. Can you describe it down the chat box for me? Because I have never seen a talent called parents lately. Okay. Hmm. That is a present. Do you mean you will give us a present? No, that's a about... ah, present. Presentation, right? This is a lesson for you. Oh, Oliver. <laughs> what happened to your internet? Okay, I'm doing. I have to. Do. Anyway, so I think we, Oliver, I think you will send us a video okay. for the warm up because we all want to know your talent. Okay? Okay. Then. Okay, so now we move on Gabriela because we're wasting too much time. Okay, Gabriela. Hello, Gabriela. Sorry, come. Yes. Okay, I know we have for a whole lot of schools to be. Okay, um, I will wait. Gabriela, turn your pen, turn your pen behind you. Smaller. What? Your pen. Your electric pen behind you. Let me share my screen. Okay, is it okay now? It's better now. Okay, so now you can, yep, you can show us your talent. So what is your talent? Uh, I have many talents, and I don't have the one talent. No, just choose one and perform with us. Just for the warm up. My talent is teaching very, very noisy children and No, 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 no. no. Gabriela, we will perform it here. You can't teach children right now. Yeah, I mean, my children must mean that I, I am maybe see them. No, no, no. In here, right in this meeting. No. You will do it I'm... now. You will do it now. You will do one of your talents for now. Okay? Me? You yes. want talent now? Yes. screen a little bit put it nearer okay a beautiful dress what else i want to see lots of you yeah. this is the only one that i just can't show you wow it's really pretty what do you think of her drawing becca Anyway, so Oliver. Yes. So 
your you will send us your warm up because I want to see your talent really clearly. Okay. In done. Okay, so that's good. We got a lot of trouble today. Anyway, so now for the next activity. For the next activity, let me see. We will learn the lesson. Let me share my screen. Let me share my screen. And you will watch the video of today's presentation. I will take a hand gesture, eye contact, and everything that negative or affirmative. And yes, you will perform like it. Okay? Okay, ready? Everyone, pay attention. Yes. Wait. So let me share my screen sound. Start sharing. See you Can you hear it? Can you hear it? Yes. Okay. So let's watch it together. After a long day at school, when you pick up your child, what is the first thing that you ask them? This is the conversation that I heard the most. How was school, Rain? Good. And how was lunch? Horrible. As a 10-year-old, I would want my parents to say, hey, would you want to go home, finish homework, and play some Nintendo? Unfortunately, parents don't get what children want. That means that parents don't understand their children. Sometimes when kids try hard, parents don't even think that they are trying. They also think that the more pressure they put on their kids, the more achievements their child can make. But the fact is that too much pressure will make it worse. Let me give you an example. I started learning violin when I was six years old. I don't know how much you know about violin, but some people say it's one of the hardest instruments in the world. When you play violin, you have to use your left hand to find and play the correct note and use your right hand to hold the bow and keep it straight. I didn't hold it at the right pose at the beginning, so every time I play, I can't keep my bow straight. Both the violin teacher and my mom try to help me correct it, but after three months, I still play like that. My mom started losing patience. She thinks it's so simple. I just need to keep my bow straight, so I just can't do it. So every time I get it wrong, she yelled at me. And every time she yells at me, I cry. The more I cry, the angrier she got. In the end, 30 minutes of violin turned into a war. What a mess! Finally, she told me I don't have to play violin anymore. I was so happy. But I have a smart mom. I have a younger brother, so when my mom told me I don't have to play violin anymore, she started learning and playing violin with my little brother. Every time they played together, they looked like they had so much fun, and my brother improved a lot. I was jealous. After two months, my mom came to me and asked, Rain, do you want to join us? Just five minutes. Yes. Now I practice violin over one hour every day. So my point is, sometimes parents have high expectations, and when children can't make progress, parents give more pressure. In my example, until my mom started learning violin, then she realized how hard it was and started lowering her expectation and encouraging me. Try to think in your chosen position and, and understand what they are thinking. If you, sometimes parents always say, let's be the best friends. Just think about it. Do you really understand what they are? Do you really think, do you really ask your best friend what did he eat for lunch every day? If you want to be your kid's best friend, then you need to think of the questions you ask. If you want them to reach a target that you expect of them, then encouragement is always better than pressure. Thank you. OK, 
Okay. So now let me ask you. Becca, turn on your mic, please. Becca! Are you really there? Becca! Okay, so Becca, you're not here. So, Gabriella, turn on your mic, please. Yes? So let me, uh, so let, um, I will let you answer my question. My first question. So first question here is, what is your comment about his hand gesture? I think that he used the hand gesture every time. And I think his presentation is very interesting. Okay. So, Oliver. Gabriel, turn on your camera. Oliver. Okay, Becca, let, I think it's her. Okay. Oliver. Yes. So let's now, let's answer my question. So what do you think of voice, rain, presentation, and his hand gesture? What? what do you mean? Talk louder, please. You can ask again, I can hear you. Okay, listen carefully. What do you think about the boy, Rain, hand gesture, and his presentation? I think he has lack of hand gesture, but I can't, but I can't say he has many of it. So you mean that uh, he need to use more hand gesture? Yes. Okay. Thank you for all of your comments. First, let me ring makeup. Now, secondly, let me give you a comment of the boys for rain presentation and hand gesture. Oh, okay, Becca. So I want to give you a comment. Becca, turn on your camera. Gabriella, also turn on your camera. I'm not allowed you to turn off your camera. Okay, Becca, are you there? Becca. Okay, so turn on your mic, please. Sorry, my internet is lagging, so. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Okay, that's fine, so. Let, uh, I think you could answer my question. Yes. Have you watched the video yet? Can you yes. watch it properly? Yes. I so let it. me ask you a question. What do you think of the boy's hand gesture and presentation? So the the boy hasn't used any hand gesture yet. And his presentation is pretty good, but he doesn't have any hand gesture. Okay, so let me think of your comments. The first thing is about Gabriella's comment. Well, the boys do too much pointing. When you see him holding this cam, holding his, yeah, uh, his mic and like this, um, for example, hi, my name is Ray. Let me ask you, what do you ask the children when um, uh, after a long day of school, what do you ask your children, um, your children? For example, he do much, he do use too much pointing. And as Gabriella has commented, his I, idea for vision for the future and for the pressure of parent is really good. For Oliver, she said he need to use more hand gestures. That's also good. And what about Becca? Okay, Becca, his presentation is good, but do remember that he also used, what, a mess? Or maybe things like this? But he used too much pointing. That is a negative. And now, Gabriella, come back to your seat. You're not allowed to um, get out of your seat if you don't ask me, okay? Okay, so now let me ask you, what about his eye contact? Gabriel, 
um, Becca, can you turn on your mic again? So about okay. I... oh, wait, 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 Becca. So let me ask again. So what can you see of his eyes? Is his eyes moving? Is his eyes looking down, looking up? Is his eyes stay still? Okay, Becca, turn on your mic and answer it. So in my opinions, I think that he only look at the left and the right. Like in when he look at the left, he look for a really long time. Then he look at the right. I think that he should look in the middle and okay. he look up and down. And he should look. He should look slowly, cause he turns face pretty quickly. Okay, so what what do you think about his eye, Gabriella? Gabriella, I think his eye is very active because he looked down, look to the audience, look right, look left, look up, and down, look to the right, look to the left, every way. And so, but sometimes he stand, he stop looking like a statue. That part I feel very, very boring. Oh, okay. So what do you think about his eyes, Oliver? Oliver, are you there? Okay, I need to see. Um, oh, I, uh, Oliver, I need to see who of your face. Okay, that's really good. Okay, so what do you think of his eyes? I think his eye almost a lot very perfectly because they are was they would have the eye contact. It's very good. Okay. So let me tell you about each of present command. Like Becca said that he look left, he look right, he look, should look also look in the middle. Okay, I agree with that, but I don't think we should look up and down. I will tell you why later. And what about Gabriella comment? He's really active, right? He's not really active. He look down, look here, look here, but not on the ceiling, Gabriella. Also, okay. Because, because if we look up there about some some of the okay okay so about Oliver command um yes he uh do look on the ceiling left and right right you said it right Oliver. And you said that his eyes are good, very good. Okay, I agree with that. Now, we have combined really good things. The negative things about his presentation is the first thing, he used pointing hand too much. He used pointing hand too much. But the affirmative is more. He talks smoothly, he got um, voice up and down perfectly. He also used some hand gesture. Maybe he must use more hand gesture. And he do use his eyes to communicate. And this is what we call eye contact. Now let's explore more about eye contact. Let me share my screen. The um, presentation about eye contact. Okay, so week three, we will talk about eye contact. So why is eye contact important? Wait, let me share my screen. Okay. So why is eye contact important? First thing, attraction. Pulling their attention towards you. Do you like a person talking to you like this? Hello everyone, my name is Sue and today I will talk about vision for the future. Do you like it? Anyone? Please, everyone turn your mic and each of you will say, do you like the way I speak like this? 
me if I'm talking to you like this. Hello everyone, my name is Sue, and today I will talk about, yeah, kindness. Do you like it? No. No. No, I, I think it is rude. Okay. So, Asatang is very important. It's pulling the attached toward you. It means that you respect each other. If you look up and down like this, that means you're lying. Impression. This take impress that people will respect you. It will take the impress about you. It will take their mind up into you, right? So if I'm talking to you like this, everyone, eye contact is important because it's full attraction, pulling their attention towards you. But do you like crazy like this? Everyone, eye contact is important because it who um is get attraction, pulling their attention towards you, and it take impression. Do you like it? Everyone, do you like it? The way I talk up and look up like this, or you like the way I look at you on the screen? Oliver. 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 Can you hear me? Oliver. Oliver. Yes. Okay. Becca, what do you want to say? Oliver, so I don't, uh, I want you to pay more attention. Okay, Becca, uh, Becca, what do you want to tell? Why you raise your hand? You want to talk anything? Turn your mic. Do you want to say anything? No. Okay. So I asked you, do you want me to look at you like this? Or you want me to look at you like this? The first one. Oliver? Oliver! 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 Stop looking away. Okay, so let me ask you. So, do you want me to look at you like this or look at you like this? I think you are doing that. The first one or the second one? Okay, Gabriella. You like to look at Alex? Uh, do you like me to look at you like this or look at you like this? I don't want, I like none of that. Okay, that's good. So you realize how important, how respectful that eye contact is important to you, right? Good. Now, showing your emotion. So when you are in a sad part, your eyes can littering a little bit. Okay, you can lower your eyes like this. Okay, so I will talk about sad part myself. Died. And something about it. You need to show your eye attractive. You take impression and you show your emotion in it. Try to put your emotion back into your brain and try to put it into your eyes. Show confidence and honesty. Now, if you are trying to look away, it means you're lying. So let me say this. Okay, so I just go into the shop and yeah. I just like something really cool, wasn't it? What do you think about it? Am I lying or am I truthful to you? Gabriella? So if I said to you, hey Gabriella, let me leave this meeting and I will go shopping to shop you a very important thing. Want it? Um uh, I don't mind. Because, because you're talking to me and you just like to look to another. Okay, so what do you think? Is it lying? Am I lying to you? So now if I leave this meeting and now I'm going shopping to you. Now let's see the difference. Okay, Gabriella, let me leave this meeting and I will shop for you. 
And now this one. Okay, Gabriella, let me lose this meeting. You can chat with the other members and I will talk for you a really cute thing. Which one is the last? Do you um do you think this one a lot or this one a lot? I think this one a lot. Okay. That's good. Let me get back. And what about confidence? If you look up and down, you're showing your nervousness. Hello everyone, my name is Sue and uh, I'm 10 years old. This makes you nervous more because if you look into some of their eyes, you can know about their emotion. You can change your tone, you can change your voice, but if you're looking like this, your speech will be boring. How can you use eye contact effectively when you speak offline? Any ideas? I want to ask Oliver first because Gabriella can be talking. Because in the meeting, yeah, of you, I've said it. Now, Oliver, how can we use eye contact effectively when we were when we we speak online? I mean, offline. Any ideas? about. Wait, 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 Oliver, speak louder. I think we should um, about, it's very important to really in that. So what is effectively? That means we can do eye contact well. We can look at each other every time when we speak offline. Yes. So that means how to use eye contact really well when you speak offline, really good when you speak offline, okay? Let's make the let's make some then make some people will happy or will think will think about the Okay. So I think I must give you a hint. So now the hint is the um, let me give you an example. We can use eye contact effectively when we speak offline we can look right middle left every time about one to two seconds we will and just like that so you will need to give an idea how to use eye contact effectively how can we effect it to the we audience could, we could do eye contact everywhere everywhere okay that is also an idea Thank you for your idea. Okay, Gabriella. So how do we, how can we use eye contact effectively when we speak offline? We can take pictures or we can use emojis. No, no. We are talking about offline. This means we're meeting each other. This is online. I mean, we I mean, I think that when we're offline, we can, um, offline is a bit harsh, and we can be face to face. You know, like face to face? Yes, I'm not, yes, I know. So, just for my example, we can use, I can't say exactly when we look like this. So, Lord, we to and I'm 10 years old. Today, I will talk about eye contact. Now, how many of you know eye contact? Raise your hand. So that is a way to contact with each audience from the stage. Okay, Oliver, do you have any questions or any ideas? Yes, I think eye contact will help us to this if the topic will get better than if we do not use the eye contact. Wow, very good idea why eye contact is important. Okay, so can you learn? And I also think if we don't use the eye contact, some people might get think we are rude to them and 
thought that we doesn't care about them, just talk, think about like the weed. They're looking about the book and just read it, and the other people didn't think they are things. Okay, that's very important what I can tell. And we okay, so that's a very good idea of yours. So can you lower down your hand, please? Lower your hand. Oliver. Can you lower your hand? For example, this lower your hand. I raise my hand and I lower my hand. Okay. Lower your hand. Okay. Good. Okay, now. So, we can use eye contact effectively when we speak. No one have the ideas. So, let me see. Look around, not on the floor, on the ceiling. We're on the ceiling. We just look around. Just what I have done. Look at the face of the audience. If I meet you offline, I will look at the face. Like this. Like this. I will look straightly at the face to use the eye contact. We will move our eyes from left to right, hovering off the room. There are some tips to remember. Look and lock. Look someone in the eye in two and three seconds and then move to another person. You can divide into groups that equal the path that you are speaking. For example, this, my opening, I will look here. My opening, I look here. Okay. My body, I look here. And my ending, I look here. So that I divide into two, three equals group. For that equal my part of speaking. Introduction, body, ending. Eye contact effectively when you speak online. Look at the camera when you try to say something important. So you can look here, look here, look here, just like offline. But when something is important, look at the audience face of the camera. Adjust your phone right in front of your eyes so you don't need to look up or down. Now, let me see. Do you like me? To look up at you like this. Hello everyone, my name is Sue and I'm 10 years old. Or like this. Hello everyone, my name is Sue and I'm 10 years old. Or like this. Hello everyone, my name is Sue. My name is Sue and I'm 10 years old. Which one do you like? Middle, up, or down? Everyone, look at me. Do you like me to do this? This or this? The second. The middle? Like this? You mean this, Oliver? I think the second one. Okay. So you mean the middle. That's very good. Now let me um, share my screen. Adjust your phone right in front of your eyes so that you don't need to look up or look down. Wait. For example, hi everyone. I'm Sue. I'm 10 years old. And today I will talk about eye contact. So if we always look down and up, like this, hi everyone, look up. I'm Sue, look, look down, or I'm 10 years old. Look at the audience. So choose, look at the audience. Erase, look down and look up. Nope. Like this. Where is it? Ah. Need to erase. Okay, so we will erase this. Okay. You will look at the audience. Look at the audience. 
always. Okay? Okay. Great, Olivia. Let me use this one. Question that might, question that you said that might happen in reality. What would you do if the audience don't pay attention to your speech? Find someone who is looking at you and make eye contact with them. You don't need to make eye contact with everyone in the room. If you're trying to look at someone, but they're not trying to look at you, move to the other one. What if I say something sad and the whole hall laughs? This is really rare, but you need to think of it. So now I'm talking about something sad and the whole, whole of you laugh. I think I should speak for them silent and I was. So just I'm talking about my dog is dead and someone who don't like dogs laugh. Gosh, they laugh. You feel angry? Yeah. But what would you do? Firstly, I think um well have any ideas? No. Wait oh my gosh. Wait for them. Wait for them to stop laughing. Okay, so let me share my screen again. First, you just wait for the silence and tell something to them unexpectedly and tell them a story, a very, really unexpected story. <laughs> you think it is funny? Okay, let me tell you something. My dog died a real unusual situation and tell them maybe a ghost story that make them scared so your angry will lower down and if that story is real you're telling the truth now is for the practice there are topics for you to choose friends hometown school there are four topics okay. you will make you will make a short introduction with each of this. No, there are only three topics, sorry. You will make an a short introduction for each of, uh, for the topic that you like. And you have five to eight minutes to prepare. If all of you have done in only five minutes, we can start, okay? So just like this, for example, I choose my friends, my best friend, for example. Hello everyone, my name is Sue. And today I will describe and talk about my best friend Kimberly at school. So you also make sure that you use eye contact and use it effectively as the way I just tell you for offline. I mean online, okay? Okay. Just make a short introduction, not too long. Okay? So now let me count. Just my best friend. Okay. So now when I count, three, two, one, you will start getting on your progress, okay? Three, two, one, go. Can I go first? What? What do you mean? Talking about first and... You don't know, just prepare for a short introduction. Just what I said. Okay? Okay. You can give some details to it, but just make it short. I... I already have my idea now. Sorry. 
So I think you must write in down the paper or the word so you can send it in Skype to me so I can check it too. Okay. Can I go? You can go to the bathroom if you like. No, I mean, can I talk about books? Books? No, you just only choose the topic. Then, oh, okay, you can talk about anything you like. I just my script. I'm already done. Write down the tape. Oh, if you're done, just raise your hand and keep silent. I went for the whole hall today. Are you there? Becca! Gabriella, are you trying to say something? Gabriella, what are you doing? Oh, you're practicing. Okay. Becca, have you finished? Yes. Okay, so now let me interview all of you. Who wants to talk first? You want to talk first? Who wants to talk first? Just raise your hand. Who wants to talk first? Lower your hand. Okay, Gabriella, you will talk first. Gabriella, turn on your mic. Yes. You stand up. Use your eye contact. Okay. You also your use your hand gesture. Okay. I put it like this. Put it like this. Okay, that's good. Yeah, that's really good. Um, can I start now? Or? Of course, you can start. Hi, my name is Gabriela, and I'm going to talk about tradition foods. What are tradition foods? Tradition food means a popular food in a country or a town. 
They can be eaten by many people. Now I'm going to talk about a tradition food in England. Ah, uh, that food is fish and chips. What is the ingredients in fish and chips? Fish and chips means that in that place. Okay, stop. Has, uh, Okay, so I want you to look here, here, and here. Okay? You look and lock. Look here, two and three seconds. Look here, two and three seconds. Look here, two and three seconds. So I want you to use it in your video too, okay? Okay, now, Oliver. Turn on your mic. Turn on your camera and turn on, yeah, lower your hand. Okay, Gabriela, lower your hand. Lower down your hand. Okay, Oliver, Oliver. Oliver. Yes. Turn on your mic. Turn on the camera. Stand up. Let me see your eye contact and your hand. Three, two, one, go. Hi guys, my name is Lily Oliver, and today I'll tell you about my topic. It's about my my friends. In my school, I have my best friend. Her name is Anku. She's very kind and friendly. She always helps me do with my homework. And I like her because she is always play with me in the free time. Okay. You know, you get it now. Okay. So. I want you to do, I want you to do this, you must, as I said with Gabriela before, when you say, hello everyone, my name is Oliver, and today I will talk about my best friend. My best friend name is blah, 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 she helped me with this. I also love her because something, okay? Okay. Okay, Becca, now it's only you, and when we finish, we will got five minute break for game. Okay, you want to start? Are you ready? Okay, so, hi, my name is Becca, and today we'll talk about my hobby. We all know that everyone has his or her own hobby. And my favorite hobby is reading. I enjoy reading book when I am six. I start to get the hobby from my mom when I was five years old. So, my the only... So we have a great collection of books on many things like science, space, English, and many things. And I enjoy reading because it allows me to explore my imagination world. I keep the hobby of reading at least one hour every day. I usually read books at home in a quiet room. I learn how to concentrate into the thing that I'm doing by reading it, by reading books. I spend hours reading and thinking about the facts from each kind of books. My favorite author is Jacqueline Wilson. Okay, okay. That's enough, that's enough. Sit down, sit down. Wait for me. Wait for me. You get a really good presentation because you look down, as I already said, please make your face toward mid in the middle 
of your phone so you can move here and here. Here and here. So if you look down here, look here and here, a more, a more heart is hard for neck. And also, it looks very, it looks not very professional. Okay, Becca? Okay. Becca? Okay. Okay. Any of you want to play a game? Gabriella, you want to play a game? Gabriella, are you there? Okay, okay. turn on your camera, all of you. Oliver, turn on your camera. Oliver, good. Now, let me share a screen. Any of you want to play look it? Any of you want to play quiz it? Look it or quiz it? What in the chat box? Let me make a poll. No. You want to play quizzes? Click one. Wait. One is quiz. Two. No, she wants to play. Now, now. Come on. No taking photo here. Who wants to play blue gate? Click one. I mean, click two. Who wants to play quizzes? Click one. The most lost will get the game. Look at it too. Take this as you. Okay. Me? Let's see. Two. Okay. There are a lot of lot of two. So, what do you want more? Good. Look at Now, I have prepared two games in Look at Christmas. If you choose Look at Okay, then. Look at this is your honor. Good. And let me say, lock it, dashboard, hot. I'm waiting, don't worry. Which game mode? Sorry, that 13. We'll only play Santa's workshop. Anyway, no, I will not choose that upgrade. Hmm. Anyway, just don't make the plus. Now, fishing frenzy. Go quest, crypto hack, it will be fun. Quanda? Tower Defense, Cafe, Battle Royale, Factory Racing, Crazy Kingdom, Tower, New Classic. Maybe go quest, okay? Okay. During you play, I also play another game. For five minutes, all of you. These random names, of course, no. That's very good. Now, I just need to copy the link. And the ID, let me, yeah. Also, control C. I just get in. Okay. Anyone get in? No. Okay. That is the only way to I get in the chat box.
No, Oliver, no taking pictures. Why do you always take it? This is the only way to I get in the chat box. Gosh, really? Okay. After it, you can delete, please. That is the only way, okay? Yes. Wow, Becca. Good. Did Oliver just walk go with Gabriella? Mm. Oh dear. Raise up. <laughs> Gabriella. Becca just lead with one thousand. And 26. Gabriella just stole 54 gold from Becca. Come on, Lily. Oliver, raise up. <laughs> Gabriella just stole 518 gold from Becca. Oh my gosh. Gabriel just stole 150 gold from Becca too. Come on, Becca, race up again. Just leave again. Oh my gosh, I see that the goats are lowing down. Becca just stole 42 go from Lily Oliver. Becca just lead again. Gabriel just stole 196 go from Becca. Lily Oliver just lead with 1,763 go. And the total goal is 3,590. Oh I just stole 156 gold from Lil Oliver. And I also stole 397 gold from Lil Oliver. Okay. Becca just lead again. Now, the numbers are changing really fast. 
Okay, I'm not playing. Everyone, one more minute! Try your best! Walk go! Take go! Time go! Did I do the time? Gabriella! It's 15k! Very much! Super much! Monty, Galilla Oliver. I think she just swapped goals. Look, just swapped goals with Becca. And Gabriella have no more gold for you. Just try to swap, Gabriella. I know it's really poor that you got no more gold. Look. Don't worry, you can do it. Lily Oliver is leading in way 0.1M, but then Becca just stole 3,664. Now the final standing, Gabriella. Very sorry of Gabriella, she got zero gold because of the swapping and stalling. But you've done a very great job, Gabriella. Who is the first? Me. Who is the second? No one is the second. Becca. Just kidding. Okay. Having fun, right? Okay. But now it's time for your homework. What have we learned today? We learned about eye contact. Okay, so now. I have some, a lot of questions for you now. Just who will answer, who wants to answer it must raise your hand very quickly. So now, Oliver, just lower down your hand and when I say, ask a question, and I say one, two, three, raise your hand, okay? Okay, I want to see everyone's face. Mecca, Lolisa, you've done a very great job, you know. Mecca? Where are you? I don't see Becca. Becca! Yes. I mean, Gabriella! Sorry. Turn on your mic, please. Okay, Gabriella's not here. Wait. Okay. Now, ready? So, what have we learned today? Three, two, one, anyone raise your hand. Becca, what have we learned today? Eye contact. That's very good. Now, lower down your hand. So we love. Oliver, lower down your hand. And turn, okay, ready. So, why is eye contact important? Now tell, um, wait, 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 I didn't say one, two, three. Don't worry, have your hand again. Okay, why is eye contact important? So one of the things that eye contact is important. One, two, three, raise your hand. Oliver. Talk louder, talk louder. Only one thing, only one thing that you remember. Eye contact is very important because it helps us to help us will be confident and honest. That's really good. What about you, Becca? Becca, turn your mic. Eye contact create attraction and make you honest. Okay, that's very good. Now the next thing, next question, lower down your hand, please. Lower down your hand, Becca. Good. 
good. Now let's go to the hard question. Do you understand the lesson? Yes. Three, two. Do you understand the lesson? Three, two, one. Raise your hand. Becca, do you understand the lesson? Yes. What about you, Oliver? Yes, I understand the lesson because the lesson today is talking about eye contact and something. something oh, okay, okay. I just need to know that you understand. And you understand and you remember it. Very good. Okay. So now. Wait for me. Okay. So now, a really hard question. I dare you to remember it. What if one of the audience didn't look at you? Wait, can you ask again? What if one of the audience that you're looking did not look at you? Oliver? That is about, that is about, um, we should take a look all around if the people not to us and, and we should be confident and be most honest and people will start looking at you. Mm, it's nearly right. It's nearly right, Donnelly. Anyone? Mega? Mega, please. So, when, when you lose someone and they didn't look at you. You don't concentrate to that person and look at the other one. Okay, that's very good. We just review some of the questions. Very good. Now let me share my screen to see your homework. Homework for you. Week. Ah, uh, not three A. Okay. I contact. Oh. Homework. First thing. Word. Or video. Vision for the future. Try to transform the boy's name into your name, okay? Next. And try to use eye contact with it. The second one. You also need to also need to take picture of your practice introduction in the practice introduction. If you save it, please take picture of it or send a file of it. The third thing is okay. Prepare for the next warm up. The next warm up. Wait. Next warm up will be this. Now, uh, uh, story because it's nearly christmas right so the next one up will be tell us christmas story these this is the one and this is the lead line make it fold here make it big 
So that line will be at line B. Friday. Seven o'clock. I will not consume any more video on Friday zero. Okay, so when it is already, wait a moment, no, 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 Saturday, Saturday, 7 p.m., okay, seven That line, remember, let me send it to you. So remember it, okay? okay. Now, can anyone repeat the homework? Now, this is your homework, and thank you for joining our meeting today. Goodbye, everyone. Bye.